Well, the first big cruise ship to set sail from the U.S. since the pandemic began is on its way to Mexico this morning. Royal Caribbean Celebrity Edge left Fort Lauderdale, Florida Saturday, filled to about 40 percent of capacity. And the company says that 99 percent of those passengers who are on board are vaccinated. Janet Shamlian is one of those passengers on board enjoying the sea breezes on this historic trip. And there she is on deck. Janet, good morning. <laughs> Tony, good morning to you. This sailing is a major milestone, and right now we are coming to you from the Gulf of Mexico. The pandemic has slightly modified the cruising experience, and with billions of dollars and tens of thousands of jobs at stake, the cruise industry is hoping that passengers will like what they see. <laughs> cruising is back. Crew members and passengers cheering this trip aboard the Celebrity Edge after some predicted the industry would never recover. So excited? Yeah, we're excited. We're happy to be here. Definitely. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's just nice seeing everything like come back to normal. Chattanooga's Swinford family jumped at the chance to be among the first to sail amid a return to pre-COVID normalcy. Do you have any fear going into this week ahead? No. Not at all. It's not a traditional voyage, only about 1,200 passengers. Edge normally holds more than double that. Every adult has had a shot. The main reason we're vaccinated is to be here. The Swinford kids and other children aboard weren't vaccinated, so COVID tests for them were required. The onboard experience is different too. These over-the-top buffets that cruises are known for no longer self-serve. Thank you. Cruises became COVID hotbeds at the pandemic start. Carnival's Diamond Princess was stranded almost a month after more than 700 became sick. Nine died. A celebrity cruise out of St. Martin early this month had two positive cases, even though everyone was vaccinated. Aboard this ship, Celebrity says vaccinated crew members still mask up and that they've increased cleaning and updated ventilation. What would you say to Americans who are thinking, mm, not worth risking my health? Um, I'd say this is the place to come. Our objective is to be safer here than anywhere else on land. Richard Fain is the CEO and chairman of Celebrity's parent, Royal Caribbean Group. A year ago at this time, they were predicting the death of the cruise industry. Yes, they were. Ha ha. Um, and, they, and I think you've seen how wrong they were. The three largest cruise companies have lost $25 billion since COVID. The industry is optimistic returning to the high seas will eventually lead to big profits. One, two, and three. Are you, wow. As the Swinfords enjoy their 12th cruise, eight-year-old Will likely speaks for many Americans vacationing this summer. I'm just glad that I'm away from home, <laughs> mainly. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> There are a lot of avid cruisers on this voyage who wouldn't have missed it for the world. And as you can see, a lot of them have joined us very early this morning. Uh, but the question going forward is this, what will demand look like and will the cruise lines be able to fill big ships like this? Anthony? Janet Chamley and at sea. Time to go in the pool, Janet. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>